of indicted New Jersey Senator Robert Menendez is much darker than we realized. The breaking news of the day is that Robert Menendez's wife killed someone. Senator, there's a report that your wife was potentially involved in a hit and run back in 2018. Do you have any comment on that? Uh, that was a tragic accident and uh, uh, obviously uh, we think of the family. He's lying. They don't think of the family. They have never communicated with the dead man's family in any way. In December of 2018, Robert Menendez's girlfriend, who was on her way to becoming his second wife, hit a pedestrian who was crossing the street at 7.30 p.m. and killed him. His name was Richard Coop. He was 49 years old. The New York Times reports today, quote, his body was thrown to the curb just steps from his home and badly mangled. The police reports indicate she was never tested for drugs or alcohol and was allowed to leave the scene not long before Mr. Coop was declared dead at a nearby hospital. Richard Coop's sister told the New York Times, quote, the family really has had serious concerns over what we felt was a very sparse, one-sided investigation. We felt that the whole thing was very silently swept under the rug. The only problem Mrs. Menendez seemed to face after she killed someone was how to replace the damaged car. According to federal prosecutors, Robert Menendez and his wife took a bribe in the form of a $60,000 Mercedes-Benz C300 convertible to replace the damaged car. The indictment of Robert Menendez and his wife contains a text message from her saying, all is great, exclamation point. I'm so excited to get a car next week, exclamation point. The indictment says she told the man who was bribing them that she would, quote, Never forget this. So, you've killed a man with a car, and you are so excited to get a car next week. Not even slightly traumatized about driving, not in any way. And the thing you say you will never forget is the bribe that got you the car, not the man you killed. The indictment contains a text message that seemed creepy enough when all we knew it was describing was an alleged bribe. But now that we know that it is the reward Mrs. Menendez got after killing someone, it reads as sickeningly perverse. She wrote to New Jersey's senior senator, congratulations, mon amour de la vie. We are the proud owners of a 2019 Mercedes. She got that car only because she killed someone with her previous car, and she calls herself a proud owner of the new car, the bribe car. And while she's at it, she congratulates her future husband, the senator, for taking what federal prosecutors call a bribe, for which they are now both criminal co-defendants who have pleaded not guilty. We'll be right back.